everybody, welcome back to Easy Breezy Vegan, where I make veganism easy to digest. Today, I'm blessed with the presence of Vegan Yak. Hi! And together, we're gonna be trying so many, like a ton, like a kajillion babillion. Well, it's more like a handful of vegan beef jerkies. Oh, yeah. Before we get started, make sure to take a second, like a literal second to like this video. And if you're vegan or maybe you're just vegan curious and you like to keep things easy breezy, then make sure to subscribe as well so you don't miss out on future content. And it'll make me think that you're really cool. So we'll be trying all these jerkies and rating them on a scale of one to five. But why jerky? Well, first of all, beef jerky is a super popular snack. So it seems like finding a yummy alternative that's vegan would help save some animal lives. And second of all, who wouldn't want to do a vegan jerky test? Me, I don't want to. Maybe he's just kidding. I don't know, we'll just wait for him to come back, I guess. Ha! Got you! I was kidding the whole time. I definitely want to do a vegan jerky test. <laughs> yeah, you, you got me. I don't even think you needed to, like, wait the whole hour. You could have just done it for five minutes. Yeah, I guess, but I really had you going. Well, are you ready to get started? Um, heck yeah! First up, we have Noble Jerky in original flavor. Mmm. Okay. All right, so this one definitely like is stringy. It looks kind of like beef jerky. Yeah, you can have some of those little flakes. It smells like beef jerky. Mm. It said it was original flavor, but it kind of tastes like teriyaki and peppered mixed together. Yeah, I'd say overall that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. It's got a good chew. It's not like too hard, but it's not like soft and mushy. Yeah, the texture is definitely pretty good. The flavor isn't my favorite because it's a little bit sweet, but yeah. I do like the texture. Well, that's exactly what I was going to say. But it's the original flavor. It's not like peppered or something. Maybe they have a per pepper kind. I'd like that more. Yeah, it's still good. Yeah. I still recommend it. All right, for the noble jerky, I'm going to go ahead and give it a four out of five because I really like the texture. It was nice and chewy and it looked a lot like beef jerky, but the flavor wasn't my favorite. I pretty much echo all of that. A four out of five for me too. The texture was good. The flavor was good. It was just sweeter than I personally like, but if you like a sweeter jerky, I think you'll like it. I think like a peppered flavor or something would be nice. And if it was peppered, I think it would be pretty much like the ideal jerky. It was really good. Up next, we have Primal Spirit Jerky in teriyaki flavor. So far, uh, you know, in the package, you can tell it's wet. And uh, this one's made from wheat gluten, not from soy like the last one. Yeah. It looks not it's great. It's super wet. <laughs> oh, it smells bad. Oh yeah. It smells like dog food Shoe jerky. Yeah, shoelace nonsense. <laughs> oh, it's sticky oh, and gross. Can slimy. you put that over there? What? Is jerky ever like normally slimy? Before going vegan, I never had like a wet beef jerky. This is like canned dog food. <laughs> so it like tears like meat. Tastes almost like like flour or something. It's got like a bready taste. Like bread you dipped in teriyaki sauce. <laughs> and it got all soggy. <laughs> it doesn't taste like teriyaki, I'll say that. This tastes like an original flavor or something. It's hard to get past the fact that it's wet. It's wet and then it's tough and then it's chewy. Yeah, I'm trying to think of what this is like because I can't compare it to any jerky that I've ever had. So it's more like weird, like pot roast that was in, a, that mm -hmm. sat around too long. In small little chunks, it's not that bad. The texture's not like, all that terrible. The flavor's not like terrible. I can't see myself buying this though. Yeah, no, I mean, it makes a mess. My fingers are wet and I don't want to like lick it off. Okay, for the primal jerky, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a three out of five because once you got past the fact that it was wet, it really wasn't that bad. The texture was pretty good and the flavor wasn't bad or anything. It's just, I don't know, it was kind of just weird. Yeah, for me, I'm gonna actually, I am gonna give it a two out of five. I was gonna give it a three as well, but it's weird, like smell like dog food. It's wet out of the package, which is odd. I just wouldn't buy it again. It, it wasn't terrible at first, but I, I wouldn't buy it again. Up next, we have Perky Jerky Sea Salt and Pepper Flavor. Now this jerky likes to claim that it is the best tasting jerky on earth. Let's test that theory out. It's a bold claim. Okay. okay. It smells good. Yeah. Um, it's like little nuggets, so they're cute, but I don't think it's normally like how beef jerky would just come, like in these perfect little nuggets. Yeah. That's but odd. let's see how it tastes. Yeah, it's like chewy and a little like, you know, tough like beef jerky is. It's pretty good. 
Yeah, I'm capturing the pepper, but it's not like too much. The texture is nice. It's got the like harder start and then gets chewier mm -hmm. and like soft. And one thing that's nice too is that when you bite it, like you can actually tear off a piece. I used to hate that about some beef jerkies that you would bite it and you'd be like, ah, ah. this you could actually bite off a piece, which is nice. It's still a little sweet. Mm -hmm. Not as sweet as the other one, the noble jerky one, which again isn't necessarily my favorite flavor, but for original, it's pretty good. Yeah. Is it the best tasting jerky on earth? We'll find out. Okay, for the perky jerky, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 4.5 out of 5 because it was really good. I guess the one thing I didn't love about it was just, it wasn't my favorite flavor necessarily, but yeah, honestly, it was pretty good. I'm gonna give it a four out of five. I think it was really good. I would still eat it and potentially buy it again. I think that it was like pre-cut into those little shapes is not really how like jerky is or when you think of jerky, that's not really how it is. And yeah, the flavor was still a little bit sweet for my liking, so maybe another flavor would be better, but overall still really good, so I'd give it a four out of five. Okay, the next jerky that we're trying is Pan's Mushroom Jerky in Zesty Thai flavor. Let's see here. What is this made out of? Oh Ooh. yeah, mushroom stuff. Oh, the smell is kind of weird. The smell is very weird. Um, but right off the bat, like it looks so much like beef jerky. Like it's dark like beef jerky, so. Yeah, I mean, I don't know that I would uh, like think that this was mushrooms if somebody gave this to me. I don't, I don't think I would think it was mushrooms. I know, I kind of have to try to get over the fact that this is mushrooms, let's, let's see. It doesn't taste like. <laughs> She's back to gagging. She's back to <laughs> no, gagging, it's like everyone. Just, it's like this taste that hits you at the back of your mouth. It tastes very much like mushrooms that have been like dried out and put through some process. It does not taste like zesty Thai. No, where I don't. There's like, not there's, like a spice or anything. There's barely any flavor. It just oh. And it's weird, like the taste of the mushrooms that goes to the back of your throat, and then it's like, hey there. I don't want to no, finish this not piece. Good. I like Ugh. mushrooms. Like, I love mushrooms, but this tastes not good. Okay, this one is shiitake mushrooms. We have another jerky that's made from portobello mushrooms, so hopefully that's better. Oh god, it's like the aftertaste. Oh. <laughs> the texture's okay. If you can focus on that without focusing on the fact that it tastes like really bad. Yeah, it, ah, it tastes really bad. I need to drink a water. Yeah. Okay, for the pan's mushroom jerky, I'm gonna have to give it a one out of five because it was just not good. And I would never buy it again, unless I was buying it for like someone that I didn't like. I'm gonna give it a 1.5 out of five. It's not like, I want to give it a benefit of the doubt because I do think they did a good job with making the texture um, and the coloring and I wouldn't have thought that it was like mushrooms, but the flavor is not good on that one. That's that's not my favorite taste and I like mushrooms, but that's it was not good. And no. it definitely did not taste like zesty Thai. There was like a hint of spice in the back of my throat after eating, but it was like very subtle. Zesty Thai, it is not. Up next, we have For Real Foods coconut jerky in chili lime flavor. Whew, it's, it smells like a cake, like, like sweet. Oh yeah, it does smell really sweet. It's interesting, I mean, coconut jerky seems like a cool concept. Mm -hmm. And I know in the store when we were getting this one, they didn't have like an original flavor. So we got this chili lime. So that might not quite be fair, but you know. Yeah. And I mean, honest, also though, I did think that mushroom jerky would be cool too. But now pulling this coconut jerky out of the bag, I'm. it, it looks like a wrinkled up butt. <laughs> it looks like interesting little pieces. Um, don't know if that you can see that, but yeah. It seems really like dry. Oh, it is really like dry. What? Oh my God. This is like the weirdest thing I've ever eaten. I mean, it's like dehydrated fruit that hasn't quite like crisped up yet. Oh my God, it's so weird. I would never buy this as a snack. Like I advise somebody getting it just to try it because it's so weird. There is a bit of the chili lime flavor. It isn't the worst because it's not the mushrooms. I would and say that this is actually worse than the mushrooms because it doesn't even look like jerky. And the taste is so weird. It tastes like 
Yeah, but you're not gagging. Uh. The flavor of the mushrooms was gagging. Yeah, but that's because I don't love mushrooms. I could eat this. What? Mm-hmm. The more I eat, the more I'm okay with it. Okay, for the coconut jerky, I'm gonna go ahead and give it another one out of five because it didn't look like jerky, it didn't taste like jerky, and it was just really weird. Like, ugh, not good. I'm gonna give it a 2.5 out of five. Um, <clears throat> it is weird. It is not like jerky. It's got a weird chew that isn't necessarily the worst. The flavor is not necessarily the worst, but overall, yeah, I don't think I would buy it again. Up next, we have Sumama roasted vegan jerky in black pepper flavor. Oh my God. Burp of zesty Thai chili lime coconut mushroom chew. Okay, yeah. It smells like peppery. It smells like jerky. Which is more than I can say for the mushrooms and the uh, yeah. coconut. Right off the bat, it looks like jerky, so that's always a plus. Whoa. And I'm trying to tear it, and it tears like jerky. And it was actually kind of hard to tear, which like, I think is kind of like jerky. It's got a weird powdery like flavoring put on the outside. So that's a little different. Yeah, that first bite because it has like that flaky powder on the outside. Mm -hmm. is not quite like jerky, but the flavor is good. The texture is good. The aftertaste has got that little bit of pepper to it, a mm -hmm. little bit of kick. Yeah, they just changed like the consistency of the flavoring and it wasn't so powdery. It'd be really, really good. Yeah, it's got a nice chew. But yeah, it leaves like coating of flavoring on your fingers. So kind of weird. Overall, it's good though. I would definitely eat it. Where'd you get this? A lot of the jerkies I ordered off of fakemeats.com and then the rest I got at Whole Foods. I would advise if you're eating this type of jerky to use a napkin because literally like I need a napkin. All right, for the Sumama jerky, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a four because it was really good and everything about it was pretty perfect. The only problem was that it had like the powdery substance that stuck to your fingers on it. So that was a little weird. And when it hit your tongue, it was like slightly weird. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. I think it's, yeah, that initial texture is powdery and weird, but once you get past that, the other texture is good. And the taste is like probably the closest, I think so far to what I would want my jerky to be like with a little bit of that pepper. And it wasn't as sweet as some of the other ones that we tried. So overall really good. Up next we have Stonewall's Jerkuay in original wild flavor. It's pronounced Jerkui. Whatever, it's spelled J-E-R-Q-U-E-E. -E. Jerkuay. Oh, it smells kind of like dog treats. Dog treats, yeah. Yeah. And it even kind of looks like dog treats because they're just like little medallions. Are you sure these aren't dog treats? Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't confident. Okay, so it doesn't tear like stringy. It kind of like, yeah, I guess, kind of. That oh. is a weird texture for Jerkway. That's really weird. Oh, it's spicy after a while. It's, a, it's original wild. Original wild's got some heat. This is hot. Original wild is spicy as f it's good. Yeah, but the texture is actually not bad. Like you get, like it doesn't give to you. Like it's chewy, like it spring, it bounces back. It's like, oh, you chewed me, whatever, I'm back. This says that you could microwave it for 10 seconds for a hot sizzling snack. That doesn't sound like appealing. Hot dog <laughs> treats. <laughs> yeah, these are really not bad though. I like the spice. I wasn't expecting it, but I like how spicy it is. It's one of those ones that if you eat like 10 of these or the whole bag, like your mouth would, I think, be on fire after a while. Yeah. It's kind of weird, there's like air pockets in the medallions. So I don't know if that helps like with some of the chewiness or something. I don't know. This is like kind of a fun experience mm -hmm. in texture. I thought at first this one was gonna be like garbage. Maybe the best one so far, I don't know. Yeah, it's actually quite enjoyable. Okay, for the Stonewalls jerky, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 4.5 out of five because there were some things that weren't necessarily like beef jerky perfectly. Like it didn't look just like it and it didn't tear just like it or anything, but Honestly, like they were a lot of fun to eat. Like I liked them, they were really enjoyable. And the texture was actually really fun. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. I think the texture initially is not like jerky, but once you start chewing it, it, it gets there. The spice was unexpected, but fun. Um, and I like the spice in it. If you don't like spice, you don't get it. Um, and I would maybe give it like a 4.25 out of five or something, but the way they spell jerk way is all wrong. <laughs> Up next we have Maywa vegan beef jerky in who knows what flavor. All right. Okay. <laughs> Comes in. A bag within a bag. 
It looks weird. It looks like shredded beef. Yeah, it looks like shredded beef that was like vacuum sealed into a bag. I'm catching a whiff oh. of it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, it smells like meat. Yeah. I wouldn't say it smells good. Yeah, no. It smells like dog treats kind of again. Like interesting little like strands. It's not my favorite flavor, but it's not like bad. And it's nice and chewy. Very reminiscent of beef mm. jerky. If somebody had given this to me and said it was meat jerky, I would believe them. Yeah, I think so too. If you're if you if you like the chewy jerkies that you can kind of chew on for a while in your mouth, mm -hmm. this is definitely like that. The flavor is okay. Again, I would prefer something a little bit spicier, but it's not bad. I would say this is just original flavor. Mm -hmm. Oh no, it's pretty good. Definitely reminds me of jerky. Yeah. It doesn't look pretty when it arrives to you, but it makes up for that and just, yeah, being a lot like beef jerky. If this came in a spicy flavor or in a teriyaki or something, we'd be into that. For the Maywa jerky, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a four out of five because it was good. I mean, it had a great texture just like jerky. The flavor just wasn't my favorite, but I think if it was in a different flavor, I would like it more. I agree with all of that. I'm also gonna give it a four out of five. I would say this one's the most like the texture of beef jerky so far. It was like really, really close. I would be confused if somebody gave it to me, but the flavor still just wasn't my favorite. If it was a spicier flavor like that other one, the jerque, then uh, I would be like all for it. Up next, we have Vegan Dream Teriyaki Vegetarian Jerky. So right off the bat, this jerky looks a lot like those sheet jerkies that you can get from gas stations, which I used to really like as a kid. Looks like fruit chew wrapped in a cheap bag from All right, Asia. well, there's only one piece, so sorry, Walter. It's like rubbery. It feels like a weird rubbery coating on the outside. It doesn't like shred like beef jerky. It just kind of breaks off. And when you're chewing it, it's not like beef jerky where a lot of it stays together and it just keeps getting chewed. It breaks apart when you're chewing it. Like Why did you order this? This is garbage. <laughs> this sucks. Yeah, it's not enjoyable. <laughs> it sucks. I mean, the flavor's not bad, but yeah, you don't feel like you're eating beef jerky. You feel like, why am I chewing? <laughs> Why am I wasting energy to chew on this? You don't want that? No. It's not like disgusting like you gag on it or like the other, the one mushroom one that we tried where you're like, oh, this is bad. It's just so entirely disappointing. It's this weird sheet of like rubbery start, flaky finish nonsense. And you only get one piece. For the vegan dream jerky, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a two out of five because it wasn't my favorite and it was kind of boring and the texture wasn't like beef jerky, but the flavor wasn't bad and it was nowhere near as bad as the mushroom jerky with the coconut jerky for me. I'm gonna give the vegan nightmare jerky a 1.01, .01, uh, which is just very slightly better than the mushroom one because it doesn't make you like think it's disgusting, but it's terrible. I wouldn't buy it. <laughs> if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure to go ahead and like it. And if you like watching vegan taste test videos, then make sure to check out these videos as well. They're super funny and informative. All right, up next we have Unisoy Vegan Jerky and Black Pepper Flavor. Some mm. strange brands that I've never heard of or seen. I that don't know. smells good. I don't know how I feel about the smell. Yeah, it smells good. Wait, well, is this sweet teriyaki? No, no it's, it's pepper. Pepper, yeah. They apparently also have hot and spicy and sweet teriyaki, so some other choices out there. Okay, so it tears like beef jerky. It's got the same flaky, sticky powder as the mm -hmm. Sumamo one. It does have the powdery flavoring around it. Like, I don't think it's as powdery. It could be a little more peppery. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like, this is supposed to be the cracked pepper flavor. It's not very spicy. It does not really remind me of like pepper beef jerky that has that heat after a while. The texture is good. It's a lot like the Sumama one. Mm -hmm. It's like almost identical to that. Okay, for the Unisoy jerky, I have to give it a four out of five because it's literally like the exact same as the Sumama beef jerky, which I gave him a four out of five. So my hands are tied. I feel like I'm just making up scores at this point. So I'm gonna go with a 3.98 uh, out of five. Not quite the four, it is almost exactly like Sumama, but I don't like that they called it cracked pepper and then there wasn't a lot of pepper flavoring. Overall, it's still really good. All right, so I think we've both been kind of putting this one off because it is another mushroom jerky and it is savory wild portobello jerky in roasted garlic and black pepper flavor. Whew. Pretty packaging, 
Oh, it smells good. Yeah. It smells really good. It smells kind of like garlic. That makes me really nervous. I hope it's good. Oh, it looks good. Does it? It looks like a yeah. dried up mushroom. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> but that's what it is. <laughs> he loves mushrooms though, so. Mm. I like the flavoring. You do catch a little bit of the mushroom flavor and the texture is a little bit, kind of turns into slimy mushroom at the end. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of weird. But it's definitely not as bad as the other mushroom jerky. It, it's good, actually. I mm -hmm. like it. It's not quite like, you know, if you handed this to someone and they were used to normal beef jerky, it's not as quite quite as close as some of the other ones. But it's good. The flavor is good. After a while, the slimy texture is there a bit, but... Yeah, the slimy texture is one of my least favorite things about mushrooms sometimes. You kind of just have to swallow before you have too much of that in your mouth. So definitely not my favorite, but nowhere near as bad as the other one. All right, for the portobello mushroom jerky, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a three out of five because it wasn't my favorite because texturally it switched to being slimy, which is definitely weird. And then it's something you don't wanna keep in your mouth for too long. But initially it's great and it smells good. So yeah, I'll give it a three. I'm gonna give it a 3.5. I think it's actually, and I would rate it higher if I wasn't like comparing it to one all of these others. And also if I wasn't comparing it to like normal beef jerky, I think as a snack, I like it. I like the flavoring of it. The texture is good. I don't mind some of that little bit of like sliminess. I like mushrooms. So overall, I really like it. I would buy it again, but in the realm of jerky, I'm not sure it quite holds up. Up last, we have Louisville vegan jerky in black pepper flavor. Louisville. It's Louisville. Let us know in the comments down below. Louisville, 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 you let us know. It smells like barbecue. It smells like good. Wow, it feels like so soft and airy. Oh, it is soft. I mean, it shreds. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but mm. little chunks. I like the flavor, but it's definitely not as chewy as beef jerky. It doesn't chew for a long time, it, it dissipates a lot more quickly than beef jerky. Yeah, it's really soft, kind of falls apart a little bit, mm -hmm. but the flavor is really good. Yeah. And it still it still has that like meaty texture. Mm -hmm. It's just not like as chewy as some beef jerkies would be or whatever. Yeah, you can't chew it for as long. No, it's soft. I still wish there was just a little bit more like spice. Like the flavoring of the actual meat or whatever you want to call it is good, but then like the outer flavor, where they would put like the black pepper should be upped a little bit. And this brand is pretty popular. I think it's the most popular vegan yeah. jerky brand. So I bet like some of the other flavors, I think we've had some of the other flavors before. I bet some of them are good too and just provide different flavors. So, mm -hmm. but overall really good. All right, for the Louisville vegan jerky, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 4.5 out of five because it was really good and I wanted to keep eating it. It's not as chewy as beef jerky, which isn't a problem for me, but just so you guys know. I'm also gonna give it a 4.5 out of five. I think it's, yeah, flavor wise, it's really good. I would like it a little bit spicier, but the flavor that it is is really good. The texture is good. It's just not as chewy, um, like Brianna said. So I think overall, really, really good. 4.5 out of five. Okay, so that was a lot of fun. And I did come out with a couple of favorites and they happen to be Stonewall's Jerkay and also Louisville Jerky. What about you? I would say my favorites are, Man, it's tough. I'd say the Louisville uh, jerky is good on flavor and things. So I like that one and it's convenient. It's probably the most convenient one because mm -hmm. you can pick it up at multiple stores. So that also plays in its favor. The Stonewall uh, jerky is like, okay. Uh, the initial texture is just not good enough, but the flavor is awesome. But so I, I really liked eating it though. Like the first one that you bite into is like, what? And then you, keep biting it though and then you're like oh these are fun i like these and then the noble one and the was it perky jerky those ones are really good mm -hmm. uh just not the greatest flavor but the texture was really good sumama was good I, there's i would buy almost all of them again except for the mushrooms and then the vegan nightmare one and the coconut like oh yeah and the coconut was well i don't know it was okay would you buy it mm, no so anyway, for my favorites, I would say I probably agree that I would go with the Louisville and the uh, Stonewall. Okay, so we also went ahead and selected which jerkies were the most like beef jerky. And out of those, we decided that Maywa and the Noble Jerky were the most like beef jerky. Yep, they had probably the closest texture overall to it. Um, the flavoring, especially on Noble, was too sweet, but the texture was like really close. And so was the one on Maywa. 
So we didn't really judge either one of them on taste when compared to other beef jerkies because there's so many other flavors. Um, but yeah, texturally, those ones are the most like beef jerky. And Maywa's flavor very much was like an original flavor. Mm -hmm. So in fact, I think I might even just put that one as the top of like most like beef jerky. Mm -hmm. uh, the texture was like really spot on and the flavor was close to like an original. Yeah, my only problem with the Maywa's is that it doesn't necessarily look like mm. cuts of beef jerky. Noble jerky looks a lot like beef jerky and Maywa chews a lot like beef jerky. Make sure to comment down below anything that you want to see us try next. And while you're down there, make sure to like this video. And why not subscribe and hit that notification bell as well? Yeah, why not? Make sure to take it easy breezy and be vegan. Thanks for watching. Peace. Peace.